Sunday at Ordinary Time. It's hard to keep track nowadays. Our opening hymn is number 546, Sing a New Song. and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the coming of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My dear friends in Jesus, good evening. Good evening. And praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And hearty welcome to the celebration of God's love and mercy. We have wonderful celebrations on this week. We celebrate St. Valentine's Day on February 14th and President's Day on this Monday. Our merciful Lord is the first and the best Valentine for God said for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. If we deeply look into these words, we can see our Valentine here. My dear friends, happy Valentine's Day. Our love is to be the reflection of God's sacrificial love. And we begin our London journey on this Ash Wednesday. This is the God given time to repent reform and renew our life and return to our merciful Lord through our prayer and penance. And the theme of the day is our God's action of compassion. Our merciful Lord Jesus Christ moved with pity, stretched out his hands and touched the leper and said to him, I do will it and be made clean. I do will it be made clean. Jesus repeat the same today to us. I do will it be made clean. Let's pray for a moment. Oh merciful Lord, 
We pray for our parish family, our family, and all my dear ones, all those who are here to celebrate Holy Mass. We offer all our prayers, personal intentions, our sorrows, sufferings, our sins, our tensions, temptations, and all our weaknesses into the hands of the Lord. Let's acknowledge all our sins and so celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my thought, through my heart, through my most serious heart. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
merciful God, who teach us that you abide in our hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling, pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, who need the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, If someone has on his skin a stab, a pustula, or a blotch, which appears to be the sore of leprosy, he shall be brought to Aaron the priest, or to one of the priests among his descendants. If the man is leprous and unclean, the priest shall declare him unclean by reason of the sore on his head. The one who bears the sore of leprosy shall keep his garments rent, his head bare, and muffle his beard. He shall cry out, unclean, unclean. As long as the sore is on him, he shall declare himself unclean, since he is in fact unclean. He shall dwell apart, making his abode outside the camp. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, brothers and sisters. Whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. Avoid giving offense, whether to the Jews or Greeks or the Church of God. Just as I try to please everyone in every way, not seeking my own benefit, but that of the many, that they may be saved, be imitators of me, as I am of Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. according to Mark. A leper came to Jesus and kneeling down begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched him, and said to him, I do will it, be made clean. Leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then, warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. He said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter town openly. He remained outside in deserted places and people kept coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My beloved friends in Jesus, once again, happy Valentine's Day. And have a blessed season of Lent. And let's begin our Lent journey with God's grace. A young man feared in a car accident and he woke up at the hospital with his left arm gone. He was so depressed and decided to commit suicide. He went up the rooftop of the hospital. Then he saw on the ground a man dancing wildly. Then he noticed that the man had no arms. This sight brought him back to his right senses. He went down the building and talked to the armless man. I am ashamed of myself, he said. I lost only one arm. And I was already thinking of committing suicide. But here you are. You have lost 
but ends. And you are still happy. The ambulance man replied, What? Where do you think that I am happy? Well, the first guy said, I saw you dancing. Then the ambulance man said, But I was not dancing. My back is itchy and I have no way of scratching it. I got my COVID vaccine, the first dose yesterday. I feel a little itchy and pain here, <laughs> but I can scratch. <laughs> And I guess you got the vaccine. How many got the first dose? From us all? Okay. Anyway, little pain here. Otherwise, I am well and safe. Leprosy is not only itchy. Today's first reading spread out about the prescriptions of how to deal with lepers. The leper had to live away from the community and home. He had to wear a belt and cry out, unclean, unclean. Anyone who touched him would also be unclean. On the contrary, in today's gospel, Jesus spells out a new prescription based on his creation. Jesus did something unusual and even unthinkable. When the leper came to Jesus, Jesus moved with pity. He stretched out his hands and touched him, touched him, and said, I do will it, and be made clean. I do will it, be made clean. Jesus, this action of compassion, imparts several important lessons to us. First, this was an expression of God's love and his desire to be with us. God is on our way, especially in our miseries and sufferings, in the midst of our loneliness and unwantedness. Jesus Christ did the same on the cross touching out his hands, shedding his blood, said to us, this much I love you. This much I love you. Second thought, Jesus touched the leper. To touch a leper is the great miracle at Jesus' time. By daring to touch a leper, Jesus fulfilled the prophecy by Isaiah. He took away our infirmities and bore our diseases. St. Francis Assisi embraced and kissed a leper. The leper St. Damien sacrificed his life for lepers seeing the face of Jesus on him and proclaiming the word of God whatever you did one of the least you did it for Jesus you did it for Jesus today Jesus inspires us to reach out to the lost to the last and to the least in our society and third Jesus today wanted to correct us that 
Sickness is not God's punishment for our sins. By touching this leper, Jesus has shown that God is our loving and merciful Father. And sickness is just the limitation of our human body. We are forgiven and made clean from the spiritual leprosy of sins when we repent of our sins because God is the Lord of love and He unconditionally forgives everything. So sickness is not God's punishment. And finally Jesus inspires us to tear down the walls of separation and discrimination and build bridges and ladders of unity and love. Pope Francis in his encyclical Fraternity, Fraternity and Social Friendship, he said, once more we encounter with the temptation to build a culture of wars, to raise wars, wars in the heart and wars on the land. In order to prevent this encounter with other culture and with other people and all those who raise wars will end up as slaves within the very walls they have built. One tourist, when he visited the convent of the sisters of Mother Teresa in Calcutta, seeing a nun cleaning the putrid source of a patient remarked with disgust. Sister, even if somebody pays me a million dollars, I will not do what you are doing right now. Then the nun replied, and neither will I. I am doing this only for the love of Jesus. I am doing this only for the love of Jesus. That is what every Christian must do. Reach out to the lost, to the last, and to the least, all for the love of Jesus. All for the love of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless us.
Let's pray. Our merciful God is our divine healer and savior. Let's gather all our needs and prayers into the hands of the Lord. In today's gospel, we see the compassion of Jesus for the leper who sought his help. We pray for the grace to follow his example and in our lives make a special effort to be nurturing and caring for the sick and the infirm. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. On St. Valentine's Day, we pray for all those who are in loving relationships that they remember that their love for each other is a reflection of God's love for us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. To mark the Worldwide Day of Prayer for Survivors and Victims of Sexual Abuse this coming Friday, February the 19th, we pray for the victims of sexual abuse that they may find love and consolation from the support of family, friends, and the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In three days' time on Ash Wednesday, we mark the commencement of Lent. We pray that our Lenten observance help us to repent and return to the Lord and serve to alleviate the hardships and the sufferings faced by so many. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those in our community who are sick, especially those whose names are listed in the church bulletin, especially Kim, that the Lord may ease their pain and bring them to a speedy recovery. We pray particularly for those affected by the COVID-19 pandemic throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have lost loved ones and ask the Lord to comfort them. And we pray for the dead, especially for Gail Martin, Nita Kider, Sister Jensi, Linda Geyer, and Teresa Curry, for whom Masses are offered this week. May they continue to inspire us, to intercede for us, and be there at the end to welcome us in our turn into eternal life. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. We bow our head now and remember in silence our own personal intentions and the intentions of those who have asked for our prayer. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Asking the intercession of Mother Mary and St. Joseph, let's pray together. Hail Mary. Lord, 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 Lord is with thee.
my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice universe may be acceptable to the Almighty Father. Let's pray. May this oblation, our Lord, be free, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your heart. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just. Our duty of salvation always in the river to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. upon them like the beauty, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and elevated his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the talis and once more giving thanks, gave to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the talis, my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of the mystery of faith. As we celebrate 
the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you love, the blood of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are worthy to be a presence and minister to you. Come to that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and with the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, still our bishop, our bishops, all the clergy, and all the people. Remember your servant, Gail Martin, whom you have called from this world of yours. Remember also our brothers and sisters fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection, and all who have had mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray. That Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints of Christ you throughout the ages, we may merit to be based life and may praise and glorify to the Son Jesus. Through him and with him and in him, our Almighty Father, no need to the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
before the Lamb of God, before the King who takes care of the sins of the world, blessed are those who will suffer of the Lamb.
Let's pray together. My dear friends in Jesus, we begin our Lenten journey on this Ash Wednesday. Our Ash Wednesday service begins Mass on Tuesday at 6 30 at St. John. And Mass on Ash Wednesday, 10 a.m., Holy Hour, and Mass at 11 here at St. Charles. And we have one other Mass at 6 p.m. on Wednesday. So we have two Masses on Ash Wednesday. Morning Mass at 11 and evening Mass at 6 p.m. at St. Charles. And we have Vigil Mass at St. Joachim on Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. And please follow our London calendar. We have bulletin insert of this calendar. Please follow the time of Mass. We have Holy Masses during the London season every day except on Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday our Mass time, Holy Hour at 4.30 and Mass at 5.30 p.m. On Friday, here at St. Charles, Holy Hour at 8.30 a.m. and Mass at 9.30. At St. Joachim, Mass at 11 a.m. and at 11.30, Stations of the Cross. And Stations of the Cross here at St. Charles at 6.30 p.m. Please follow the current. And our Ash Wednesday service directions from our diocese. Bishop Stephen Reka has clarified that in the Diocese of Birmingham, our practice will be to sprinkle dry ashes on the crown of the head rather than the forehead. Persons should make a slight bow as they approach the minister to make the crown of their head more easily accessible. So, for me, you have to go like this. <laughs> <laughs> and for Abby, just like this. <laughs> thank you. And thank you, Dick and Abby, for being at the altar with me and thank you my altar service for being the service of the altar will Mary and Sydney and thank you so much for wonderful singing Steve Ali and John wonderful singing and you singer Barbara and thank you Dick Martin for being elected of the day and thank you John and Mark for being the ushers of the day. And thank you all of you for being together for this Holy Mass and supporting our church at this pandemic time. Jim, Alice, happy welcome. Nice to see you here in the church. And you my welcome to Mary. God bless her. And have a blessed season of Lent. Let's pray. Having fed upon this heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord for your lives. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Our recessional is number 657. We chose it specifically because of Valentine's Day this weekend. So we'll, we'll, we'll do all three verses.